Now, let's have a look. Have we got... Oh, that's dirt. I wasn't sure there was like a circlip or something there. Yeah, so I'm, I don't think that's a separate tip that's screwed on there. I suppose I could try and grip it, but I think uh, this is the way to do it, I think. So I've got my old um, four hammer. Oh, look at that. Yes, it's it's stopped at that ridge, so I reckon where people have been beating this, it's um but it's coming. I'm sort of slicing it, trying rather not to beat it because I'm um, But I might have to might have to get a punch on it in a second, I think. Mean. Yeah, I think so. Right. This is gonna make it a little bit more tricky because I've got to hold this and smack it all at the same time. So it's gonna be a little bit slower. I could do an extra pair of hands. Oh, not quite what I expected. So if one bearing stayed in there, that might be a problem. If one bearing's come off. Cool. Yeah. Right. Hmm, how to get that one out? Oh, just looking at all the brass and everything in there, and that hasn't just come off my hammer. I know I was hitting it a second ago, but that definitely did not come off my hammer. Right, well, I think the best way for me to get that out is to either bust it all up. Or drill two holes in and punch it out. So what I've decided to try and do is I've got a bolt, weld it round so it can't come out, and then try and put that in the vise maybe and just pull it out. That's the idea anyway. All right, so just rinsed it out in there, so that'll be ready for the morning. Can you hear that? That bearing won't even turn anymore. It's MSB yeah so nothing really to say what size the bearing is unless it's on the inner race on that side which it could be uh, I thought I wouldn't pratt around I'd just knock the bearing off and um, see if there was anything on the other side and there's nothing so do a quick in metric first of all so 50.7 19.1 19.11 now we've got a width of seventeen point four two. So let's do that in inches. Okay, so point six eight eight of an inch, point seven five three and two inches. So it looks like it's probably going to be imperial then, because that looks pretty much dead on two inches. Two inches. What was that? Was that three quarters of an inch? Yeah, three quarters of an inch. Give or take. So it looks like it is imperial. So, so I've got some replacement bearings for the um, Cotexter uh, live centre. Um, I've just been thinking about how I assemble this um, because the bearings are interference fit on this shaft and on this shaft. One way or another, I can't support at least one of the bearings when I assemble it. 
So what I'm thinking of doing is putting them on here and then warming up the head and assembling it that way. Um, heat it up, hopefully it'll expand and then the bearings will push in a lot easier. The bearings I've gone with have got seals top and bottom where as we know the original bearings had nothing. There was a groove in the outside head here, whether that had a seal that pushed in with a circlip, um, I've got no way of ever knowing. So I've gone with two twin lip seals bearings. I could take the inner lip out between the two bearings. Uh, it has got what I presume was an oil way between the two, which I'm leaving out for now while I assemble it. Um, purely simply so they expel any air that's in there as I push it together. Um, there's no other way the air is going to have to go in there. And of course these seals are going to press it in. I don't know whether now to take out both. Oh, that's a good question. If I'm pushing that in there all the way, should I? take out both seals because once it gets past there effectively it's going to be a piston compressing the air that's in there. Good question. It's not going to matter once that bearing's in there because it's going to be protected by this one and this one doesn't have the same pressure on it as I push it in because we've got a hole here. Right, I'm going to take the seals out. Right, the seals should just leave her out, hopefully. Oh, there we go. It hasn't even damaged it, it's just popped it out. Put that to one side. <laughs> Look how much grease is in them. Not a lot. There we are, both seals out. Right, okie dokie. So, stand that up. This is the bearing first. And I'm gonna get my lump of metal. Now I could um, I could get my own bearing press out, but it's just a pain in the ass since I've only got these to do. Hopefully these will bang on quite nicely. I'm going to find a socket that fits over that first. Right, a socket that fits on there nicely. Just make sure that everything is nice and clean. All right, I'm sitting here using sunlight at the moment because we've got power outage. Right, okay, now where was I? Oh yes, you missed me putting the bearing on because I didn't press bloody record. But what I might do is I might put an O-ring on there to help centre that. Now, am I being a bit um, over-worrying? Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna put an O-ring on there. Bring it back in a second. Right, here we are doing this by um, torch or LED light and I hope there's no flickering or something I can't see any on the camera. What I did was found a, an, an o-ring that's quite thin but it's way too small but I realized that once I'd stretched it on here it made it just about the right fit on here. You, know, you can just see that o-ring on there. Yeah, there we are and it's quite small and that fits down there nicely Keeps it in the middle. That's good. Right. Second set of bearings. Now what I'm going to do actually, if I can, I'm going to pop this seal back in, if it'll go back in. Yep, there we are. While I bang this on. 
that way I won't get any shit possibly get into that. Feel that going on. Bang, there we are. That is excellent. That looks really good. Right. Okay, so that's that bit done then. <sighs> now. What I need to do is ideally support this in something. Excellent. That will do like that. So I can warm that up. And hopefully, see, it goes in there on its own. It starts on its own. But I did put a little bit of a champer on it when I took that out. So, ah, that's a good point. Take that seal out. Throw it on the floor. Um, I mean, of course, I could do something stopping me squirting a load of oil in into this when we're done. Wouldn't do any harm, would it? Right. Let's um, let's warm this up and see if it works. I mean, I'm prepared to tap it on the end anyway. It'll be what it'll be. Now you don't want to get it red hot, you just want to get it warm. And see some condensation forming in there. So it won't do any harm to get rid of that. See what happens then. Oh my god. Well, there we go. I didn't quite expect it to go in that easily, but it went in there absolutely superbly. Um, and of course, I dashed off because I realised I hadn't had anything to cool it down with. I got a little bit of water here, but of course, it wasn't enough, so dashed outside to the hose. So there we go. I'm not um, not going to be worrying about anything else. I'm pretty sure by the time that's cool cooled, because I didn't go mad with it, because I didn't want to get any um, water near that hole, because it would just get sucked in. And that's not what we want. So, um, but that feels lovely to turn. Although you can't see, because I think the LED lamp's dying. But I think um, all I'll do to finish this off is squirt a bit of oil in it and um, I'll tell you what. Of course it doesn't help me blocking the hole up like a stupid idiot. Right. Winds the um, plug back in. Right. 
There we go. Job done. I don't know when you're going to see it in action, but um, with this rather dismal end, <laughs> lack of light, I'm going to end this video here. Um, make sure you're subscribed, give me a thumbs up, go on. And um, I'll see you in a minute, I guess, maybe, maybe the next video, I don't know. See you soon. Take care.